In this video, I'm going to show how to measure the parasitic drain current on your motorcycle battery during storage. This is my 2024 KTM 300 EXC TBI dirt bike and they come fitted with stock with a lithium battery uh, which has a characteristic that even over long periods of time the self discharge is very low um, which means that uh, they maintain voltage and charge over long periods of time. This is really handy because if you're not riding your bike regularly uh, there's no need to uh, disconnect the battery um, you can leave it connected for a couple of months and uh, it should start up fine uh, on the next ride. However, if you're finding uh, that the battery does go um, flat after a, a couple of weeks, one week uh, or shorter, you certainly want to look into that and uh, find the cause. Um, one common issue can be that if you've connected aftermarket accessories across the battery directly, um, it might be uh, drawing a high parasitic current causing the battery to go flat. Um, a good way to debug that is to measure the parasitic draw on the battery uh, during storage. So I'm going to show how to do that measurement. To measure parasitic current draw on your battery, you'll need a multimeter with a current measurement function. The one I have here is made by Unity. Uh, the model number is UT61E. I've had this one for over five years now and it's proved to be reliable. Uh, the most important function um, is obviously uh, current me measurement mode and this has uh, three ranges, microamp, uh, very small uh, current measurements, milliamp, uh, which I'm going to be using for this measurement, and amps, and the maximum current measurement it can perform is 10 amps. Um, depending on what mode you're using, uh, check your multimeter and you might have to use different terminals. Right now it's set up for voltage measurement because the first measurement I'm going to do is to actually measure uh, the voltage of the battery. Um, so I'm going to do that now. And I haven't ridden this for uh, about almost a week and it's measuring 13.37 volts, uh, which is fine for a lithium battery. Uh, it should measure over 13 volts. If your battery is reading less than 13 volts, I recommend uh, charging it before you do the measurement. Okay, so now I've set my multimeter for current measurement. I've got my range on milliamps and I've changed from uh, voltage to uh, current uh, input terminal um, for the probe and it's in the milliamp uh, range input. And to measure the parasitic drain current, you need to connect uh, the multimeter in series with either the ground or the uh, positive terminals. Um, so you need to uh, disconnect either ground or positive. I'm going to disconnect the positive terminal and connect my multimeter in series with that. Okay, so here you can see I've disconnected the positive terminal uh, cable from the battery and I've connected uh, the probe of the uh, multimeter directly to the battery terminal and um, the negative to the cable terminal. Um, so the current is flowing through uh, the multimeter and into the bike. And you can see here the current reading is extremely small. So this is on the milliamp range and it's reading 0 0.084 milliamps. So very, very small current. Um, if your bike uh, does measure high levels and is uh, having problems uh, starting after a, a week or so of storage, um, that would indicate that uh, something is drawing excessive power. And uh, what you can do is if, for example, you've added um, an off aftermarket navigation device, disconnect that and uh, see whether the current changes. Um, if it does, uh, a workaround would be instead of connecting directly to the battery uh, to use a switch voltage supply. So uh, a relay switch or a mechanical switch. On a 2024 model, it does have a ECU controlled um, solid state switch uh, which you can use um, to power certain things. Um, I actually made a video about uh, powering my Trailtech um, fan um, from uh, the solid state switch and uh, I'll put a link in the description of the video if you want to do something similar for your bike. 
And if storing your bike for long periods of time, for example, longer than six months or so, I would recommend disconnecting uh, the battery and storing it that way to ensure there's no discharge problems on the battery. Uh, some people like to use tenders, but uh, for a lithium battery, because the self-discharge is so low, uh, it shouldn't really be necessary. If you do want to use a tender, I would recommend uh, disconnecting it and connecting the tender directly to the battery. One issue you can run into with uh, fuel injection bikes which have a fuel pump is if you leave it connected, connect a tender, it can cycle uh, the fuel pump. Um, so you'll e easily be able to hear whether that's an issue or not, but uh, easy workaround, just disconnect your battery and connect your tender if you want to. Um, I personally don't think uh, that's necessary and uh, would store my bike just disconnected and then uh, when I come back to wanting to use it, um, measure the voltage. If it's a little bit low, I would uh, charge it up and should be good to go. So I hope you found this video useful. Um, as I mentioned, it's a very good measurement to take uh, when your bike and battery are working well. Uh, so you have a baseline measurement uh, to compare against if you do have any issues down the road.